It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. As if we do, 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 and this program is proudly brought to you by Peace and its Pelotron Company. And aloha to all of my classmates who are, I think, at home <laughs> in their well, warm we can't houses. See the mountains right kind now. Kind of sheltered, but uh, it's it's uh, we got the rain. Okay, yes, we, we do. do have the rain, and it's we do have raining. A, yeah, we have a special caller on the line that's coming up in just a moment here. Aloha, aloha, Tulsi. Yes, we are here. You are on the air. We have we. Have, we have opened up all the doors for you. <laughs> well, good morning to all of you. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. And I know you are probably more aware than anyone else about what uh, these two tropical storms or tropical storm and hurricane and, and the situation that has happened now for the past three or four days. And despite all of that, you've still been out there doing doing some wonderful things for our community. And uh, Tulsi, what's the update? What's, what's the latest thing that has struck your heart that's important to you? Well, well, first of all, you know, in these situations, I just think it's so important to say thank you to all of the amazing work that's been done by our civil defense community, both the county and the state. Woo! Yeah! yeah. All right. Many workers, I mean, everyone has really pitched in uh, as we were getting ready for these, both of these hurricanes, now the tropical storm uh, is out uh, to hit. So uh, I think that the fact that we got through last night on Hawaii Island without any uh, reported injuries or right. deaths as right. a testament to that preparedness. And really individual people, residents taking care of their families and getting to safe places and hunkering down. Uh, yeah, yeah, and we got, and, uh, I guess about 850 people did take in the, uh, the sites that were set up uh, for their safety. Yeah, because they The name of that song, Tropical Storm. How fitting a song <laughs> awesome. from the Peter Moon Band. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, that's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen, a tropical storm. And, and certainly you understand the, the seriousness of this event. Otherwise, everything wouldn't be closed down. However, I think uh, now we have to think about, okay, when this happens, yep. and then you start to see that uh, there is some normalcy, how quickly do you bring it back up, right? Mm -hmm. are, we, are we out of the s storm or... Uh, Actually, it's very, very right. wet out there, but yeah. no more than another rainy day, I can recall looking out this window. Yeah. Yeah. So we're very, very fortunate in that we didn't have the, the you know, the burden of uh, everything closing down. Well, you know what I always think, too, is like... It's bad shape. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but I always think about when, they, when there's hurricanes coming, mm -hmm. yeah. and when I hear the name of them, I'm always happy when they're not Hawaiian names. I, well, I said Julio, it might be a hot tamale. We have to watch <laughs> out. Well, the Hawaiian names, Iwa and Iniki, pretty much hit us the hardest. Yes. So, yeah. We were okay. in Kauai in 1969. Well, could, could you send a note? Can we send a <laughs> note, please? Just don't name them Hawaiian no names. No Hawaiian names, yeah. okay? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. That was, that's very interesting. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. I, I was four years old when Iwa hit in 82. Yeah. So I don't really remember much of it. Okay, yeah. well, let me bring it back to you. Okay. okay. In, in 19... Uh, 81. 82. Yeah. 82. 82. Uh, in 1981, the Aloha Friday song was written. Yes. Okay, 1982. Let's go back to that. Uh, 1982, the big <laughs> thing was uh, uh, Hurricane Eva, and no one had seen this ever before. There were only a couple of stations that were on the air, and I just happened to be at KKUN at that mm -hmm. particular time, and uh, I was listening to the station and looking at Bob Seavey go off the air, and, and I'm going, Excuse me, what is this? This has never happened before. So uh, I left, and uh, you know the, that's the kind of house. Close, close the that's the kind of house we had at that time. It was an old plantation house. Mm -hmm. So all of the fitting, all of the, you know, the the making of this house was very very strong uh, for hurricanes and storms and things like that. So mm -hmm. actually, it was okay. Went down, saw one tree down, went around, got got to the radio station, went back on the air and just try to comfort everybody yeah. because this is the most important thing. It's really not about, uh, there's only so much you can do, right? Yeah. 
So once you get all the information, right. it's about how do we comfort people? How do we help them? And so on an individual basis, I've never experienced this. We're in a blackout, but we do have radio. Mm -hmm. You know, what am I experiencing? How do I make this good? And so for anybody in an emergency, I guess that's a good point, right? right. That, that we can just uh, help each other out. And if there's any help you need, then the number is 526-0940. That's 526-0940. And mahalo to people across the mainland. Jerry Picard uh, sent a text that said that, uh, you know, he feels for everybody here in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And he has some connections to the old 50 and the reminiscing of that. Mm -hmm. And so we, we have people all over the nation mm -hmm. who are probably going, man, I hope it works out for them. And yeah. we yeah. want to thank you very much well, you yes. know, for caring. You know, actually, there was an um, uh, article that was put on the paper. It was a couple of days ago. Uh, I think it was on Wednesday, and uh, I just briefly kind of like skimmed through it, but it was talking about how um, VOG actually protects us from tropical storms and hurricanes, because what it does is the sulfur particles from the VOG kind of get sent down into the ocean, and the sulfur particles help to uh, kind of create lightning, uh -huh. to attract lightning, and then um, also storm, it, it increases the chances of storming out in the ocean. Oh, so it kind of like, okay. it sort of like takes the edge off the storm prior okay. to landfall. Right. So <laughs> you can look at it like, like um, Kilauea, like that's one really... I mean, VOG is no good, you know. Well, it's, we've it's never had VOG. Uh, we didn't have VOG at the time of Eva and and Yeah, Ike. that's what I, that's the what VOG I was saying. The VOG came afterwards. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a major VOG. So yeah. that's why we've had these other, you know, Flossie and Vali and, you know, other, you know, hurricanes throughout the years since yeah. uh, Iniki. But um, we, we really haven't, you know, been, it's been pretty more mild than, say, Iniki and Eva yeah. were because of the, and there's, so there's studies being done on the effect of, of VOG on, uh -huh. um, you know, hurricanes uh, and, and their strength when they hit us in Hawaii. Very interesting. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. So uh, it's it's uh, that time, folks, ladies and gentlemen. We thank you very much for being with us. Coming up, we're going to have a little sports from Ikaika. But right now, let's get to some great music because music always heals any situation, okay? And this is Hawaiian-style music on AM 940. AM 940 Hawaii. And uh, also iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio is a tune-in app, and you can catch us up, uh, catch up with us on Facebook.com slash Aloha Friday Morning Show. Wow. Facebook.com slash Aloha Friday Morning Show. There you go. I'm Pimo Kahawano. This is Ika Kahawano. And Leilani Kupalo Marino. And we'll also hear from Leilani, uh, you know, <laughs> as, uh, on the show. She's back in studio back, this week. Behind yeah. the camera is me. Kauai, I'm still on Kauai mode. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, and it's all really, really good. Thank you very much for tuning in on this Aloha Friday Morning. Beautiful pictures. Three albums uh, that will be remembered because it included a lot of showcasing in Waikiki, mm -hmm. and it was it was really really great. Uh, welcome to the Aloha Friday Morning Show. I'm Kimo Kahawano. This is Kai Kahawano. And Leilani. And our fearless engineer Ben. We're all here, and we thank you very much for being with us. Uh, as you know, lots is going on with the the whole idea of the tropical storm. It's passing just to the south of us. And it is just that, a tropical storm. So fortunately, we do not have a hurricane to deal with so far. As far as the path of the, the other hurricane, which is Julio, that is scheduled to hit on the northern side of the island. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, everyone, that's like Sunday, Monday. Mm -hmm. So everyone has to be prepared. Uh, but we're here to just comfort you, make you feel good. And of course, when you want to feel good, even in the rain, we're going to practice. We're going to practice for the game because somehow we got to get better. Uh, yeah, I am talking about that group of green guys <laughs> at Manoa. But right now, here's sports with Ikeka. You know, actually, that was going to be my last sports story. Oh, yeah. Well, no, you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to do it. <laughs> well, I'm going to say heavy rain, strong wind, and the threat of power outages will not prevent the University of Hawaii football team from practicing. Today. That's right. That's right. right. We'll find a place to practice, head coach Norm Chow said. If we have to go inside, we'll go inside. Practice in the stairwells. We don't care. We have to do something. That's right. Something You're indeed. telling me you do. <laughs> <laughs> never true words have never been uttered. Something indeed as the Rainbow was as the Rainbow Warriors opened their season in 22 days on August 30th against the powerhouse University of Washington Huskies at 4.30 p.m. at Aloha Stadium. And now the first three games of the season are played here at home. And with Joey Asefa back 100% healthy, hopefully they can have a strong start. And in the NBA, it's looking strong to quite strong that we may have a new big three in town. The Cleveland Cavaliers, already contenders in the Eastern Conference, made themselves strong NBA championship contenders with the news Thursday, yesterday, that the Minnesota Timberwolves plan to trade Kevin Love to Cleveland for 2014 number one overall draft pick Andrew Wiggins. 
uh, two th for 2013 number one overall draft pick Anthony Bennett and a future first round pick. The deal can't be completed until August 23rd, which marks the 30-day no-trade period required after Wiggins signed his rookie contract. And now the Cavaliers have their own big three. Featuring yeah, starting lineup. Yeah, with, yeah, with I see it when I believe it. I see it when I believe it. Kevin Love and LeBron I mean, James. I, don't I can't, it when I see it. I can't wait, man. And in other NBA, NBA news, NBA uh, MVP Kevin Durant of the Oklahoma City Thunder withdrew Thursday from consideration for Team USA before the FIBA, not FIFA, FIBA World Cup, citing physical and mental fatigue. His withdrawal comes less than a week after Indiana's Paul George was uh, lost to an open tibia fibula fracture after hitting a stanchion in one of their uh, one of their practice games. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was it was. Have you seen this? No. It was bad, uh, and it comes. It follows previous withdrawals by All Stars Kevin Love, Blake Griffin, and Lamarcus Aldridge, and NBA Finals MVP Kawhi Leonard. And on the ATP Men's Tennis Pro Tour, we witnessed two shockers yesterday at the Rogers Cup in Toronto, Canada, where Frenchman and 15th ranked Joe Wilfried Songa, who looks like Muhammad Ali in his prime, crushing serves and forehands, manhandled the world's number one ranked pro and top tournament seed, the Joker, Novak Djokovic, in two sets, both a convincing 6 2, and goes on to play Andy Murray today in the quarterfinals. And tennis's GOAT, greatest of all time, 17 time major winner Roger Federer, who turns 33 today, showed that he still has some magic left in that old racket by going the distance yesterday, defeating Croat. Marin Silic in a three-set epic battle for the ages. Federer goes on to face the Spaniard, no, not Rafa Nadal, but David Ferrer later tonight in the quarterfinals. So you'll have Federer versus Ferrer. And in the PGA, the Tiger... Federer is... versus Ferrer! Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey, hey. A lot of, a lot of uh, Euro European stuff there. And in the PGA, the Tiger is back in the woods, that is, as he complained of back spasms, coming back in only his third tournament, just four months removed from microdisectomy back surgery, and all does not seem well in Tigerland. He shot an opening round three over 74, which leaves him tied for 99th currently in the PGA Championship, which continues today at Valhalla Golf Club in Louisville, Kentucky. Four golfers finished the day tied for first at six under, including Lee Westwood and Ryan Palmer. Currently, the leaderboard shows one Mr. Rory McIlroy alone at first place at eight under with a two-stroke lead. Whoa! Yep. Oh, and he jumped, didn't he? I would be. He sure did. Yeah, yeah. And I would be remiss to exclude that the NFL is among us, albeit in preseason fashion. But the one question remains: Are you ready for some football? I'm still uncertain as to whether that's a question or an exclamation, but it gets us excited nonetheless. The NFL preseason kicked off yesterday with a smorgasbord of preseason NFL games, and will continue throughout the next four weekends. With the regular season kicking off on Thursday, September fourth, with the Packers facing defending champion Seahawks in Seattle at 8:30 uh, p. Not sure how I feel about Thursday night football, but it doesn't look like it's going anywhere anytime soon. And there's your look at sports on a long uh, Friday. Well, yeah, I think everybody should serve turkey <coughs> with a Thursday night football. I think the only Thursday night games should be on like Thanksgiving or something. That's Thanksgiving? Good. Yeah. Yeah, well. Thanksgiving would be a good, it's a good. Well, they, they always have. Right, right. right they have but a turkey day game. They have a turkey game. They have a. But in, in the NFL. last few seasons, it's actually become a part of, you know, like the, the NFL season. Like yeah, Thursday night well, games, weekly. Thursday well, night you games. know, it's exciting, but not exciting. Okay. <laughs> okay, we'll see what happens with the season. Sounds good. That's sports? That is sports. All right. That covered pretty much all bases. Okay. Now, mm -hmm. before we take a break uh, to Mokeale. Is it Mokeale? Part of you, part of me. We're going to have Leilani. Okay. Because we, we need to talk about... Uh, something very, very interesting, and that's about the caring of children at this time, okay? So a lot of children now are home. Yes. Yeah, because all the schools okay. are closed today. Yeah. yeah, all schools are closed. So so what did you do when you wanted to nurture your kids and they're at home? You're going, oh, man, what am I going to do? What Actually, am I, I loved do? it. It was fun because you could be creative and come up with different activities, whether it's cooking something or playing games with each other. I think it's a good time to put our things as adults aside uh -huh. and make that time become a child with them. And that's the part, you know, get down, sit on the floor, play some games, color in the coloring books. Uh, yeah, because when they're young, they'll listen. <laughs> no. Yeah. You know, I think what was beautiful is if you establish that relationship in a very positive way from when they're little, uh -huh. it can continue even into their teen well, years. Well, right now, some parents are in shock, okay? They got oh, the well, kids yes. all, and I just, well, we're not so doing here anything. We are. Uh, and yeah, and, the, and the boss said, don't come to work. Yeah, right, yeah. Now, yeah. that's the real sentence. So if Parents with their kids, not used to it, yeah. right? So maybe, I mean, there might be a movie you can watch together. You can there do you some go. journaling together. You can do some collages, you know, go through old pictures and do some fun, like maybe a, a scrapbook page or something. So I think, yeah. it, you know, in that moment, it really is the parent, we, taking that adult uh, right. Attitude, yeah, yeah and leaving it. Because a lot of people were thrown into this because they're, they're not yeah, used to this, not right? 
They're always working. Right. Yeah, yeah I got to do my job. And so, yeah, and so I'd like to see this, like, rabble, talking rabble, about rabble. adult mentality and being able to set it aside for it. And that's something that we should do every day, no matter what, yeah. is to be able to set that aside and be one of the, the children for a, an hour or so, so and, that we never forget. And this could be one of the starting points, yeah, I think. Exactly. It's ironic how something like a storm yeah. Yeah. can be a starting point to the caring of the family because ultimately that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah, and you know, and it's a fun time to even talk about like in a, a creative way disaster, disaster preparedness because you can already teach children how to be thinking in that way in these moments. Especially disaster preparedness? Way. That's exactly what's you happening in the fun. houses right now <laughs> with the kids home. Oh, <laughs> disaster preparedness, <laughs> oh man. Chaos, chaos. it can be fun chaos. Yeah. It's like the ideal situation though. It's like, yeah. what are you gonna do? Your boss tells you can't go to yeah. work, can't go to work, so you can yeah. spend time with the kids. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta spend that with the kids, eh? I'll find an excuse. Gee, I think I'll go. I gotta do something. Gee, I I, I, I hear something. I I think I'll go get some water. I don't know. I just water. 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 Yeah. Did you see all the places that had water? Now I got my water at long. It's a commodity. Okay, I got water. And here's here's the guy announcing the water. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who need cases of water, uh, they are over by uh, checkout one. Over by checkout one. So I go to one. It's past checkout one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Then the guy goes, well, he uh, was those of you, no, no, no. Those of you who need water now, they moved it to check. Uh, That's counter, how fast it's going. <laughs> uh, counter number 20. That's how fast it's going. Yeah. All right, let me tell you, I've never seen people act like they do in the parking lots mm-hmm. of places oh. <laughs> where they've got to go shop. I mean, because we're. Where is the love? <laughs> you made me park so far away. I tried to get a place, but this other lady would cut me off. <laughs> Where is the love? The stress rises. But you yeah. know what? There was oh, a I don't know how that water was, the whole water stuff yeah, was Yeah, $250 right? on Craigslist, as we heard this Yeah, and, and, but, but here's, a, here's a final thing. Yeah. Did it sell? No. We don't know that. But you no, know what? There was no a compliment way. for Whole Foods. Water's a hot commodity. Yeah. Whole but, Foods. Yeah. yeah, that they had brought out all kinds of non-perishables, placed them uh-huh. in bins, and and uh, reduced the price, uh-huh. knowing that people would be coming in to get to gather wow. you know, items. Wow, oh, cool. Yeah, so that was actually a really positive. Well, that's a gold star for Whole Foods. That, yeah, that is a gold star, <laughs> double whole star. Yeah, and a lot star. of a lot of all those stuff. Now, believe it or not, in the paper there are still ads. Well, I just don't you understand know? the whole thing. Like, why can't you just fill up a bunch of bottles? And that's what own, everyone's like... and ice coolers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, and hello, there's still Friday. water coming out of the tap, isn't there? Hello, hello. <laughs> and it's good water. Hello, can I have your attention, <laughs> please? Yeah. Right back to the store. Excuse me, aisle thirty-four. <laughs> can you please be quiet while I speak? <laughs> Well, yeah. We're busy moving water. So uh, yeah. it's Foodland, <laughs> uh, Foodland has this Aloha Friday at Foodland. Mm-hmm. So Every they Friday specials. they have that little ad. Do they really? Yeah. 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 Aloha Friday in big letters. Yeah. It's big. Aloha Friday. So I it is Aloha Friday and it's... And I, I, I'll, and although I tell you one one good one not good idea to do in a storm is okay. uh, if I've heard this, people saying that they're just going to... Uh, during the storm, that that's not good oh. because that'll just be. You know, son, we could have gone to the whole show without that one. <laughs> but thank you so much. Well, that's not something. You Here's to all the drunks the out there. Saying. Yeah, yeah, this is what <laughs> we're going to do. Okay, good. ladies and gentlemen, let's take it to a song. We'll be right back. It's Aloha Friday, brought to you by Peace It and its Pelotron companies. I was going to say a good transition to... Uh, I'm Pivo Kawano. This is Ikaika Kawano. And Leonico Pablo Moreno. And along with Min, our engineer, behind the camera, mm-hmm. I want to say aloha to you and thank you very much for joining us. Uh, if there's anything you'd like to share, it's 5260940. Otherwise, uh, we're here to just kind of keep you nice and calm. And I know you want to keep in touch with all the latest things that are happening. And uh, believe me, they're happening just like you are at home. Everything fine. Those of you who have to work, well... That's uh, that's very very important. Uh, the buses we're talking about with this, with the uh, city system of dropping everybody off this morning and then closing down the buses. And I, I think we've reached a uh, point in a place where you know decisions should be uh, made and changed, perhaps. Right. So, but you know that's not our kuleana. It's not our responsibility. It's up to the city, up to the state, and whatever they uh, choose to do. That's the way we're going to react because of the most dangerous situation that can happen, not the safest situation that can happen. So uh, everybody wants convenience, but at this particular point, uh, it's about responsibility. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we welcome you. We thank you very much for joining us mm -hmm. uh, here on Aloha Friday. We're just here for you. I mean, this is this is what it's all about. Comforting music like uh, Mokiale, uh, part of you, part of me, mm -hmm. and and the great sounds of Genoa Kiabe. Coming up next. Yep, yep, yep. Are we ready? Yes. Are we? Yes. All right, let's see the ride. Let's get to okay. Genoa. Well, They're having a big luau up there so now that we. Yeah, and she, of course, Genoa inspired not only her granddaughter, but just so many people in the industry with that beautiful voice lasting for what, almost 90 oh. years. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the Aloha Friday show brought to you by Peace and its Palatron Companies. Visuals, uh, and I have like you know current updates as the show goes along. But then also uh, you can catch it on, uh, you can just go to YouTube, YouTube, and do a channel okay. search for Ikaiku Kahawano, and I have oh, yeah. all of our videos posted there. Oh, okay. I try okay. to get them posted by Sunday. Oh, okay. Yeah. In, so high, are you in high def. Huh? In high def. High def. That's right. So what? I cannot hear you. High def. <laughs> what? I cannot hear you. High def. I, yeah. What? I cannot hear you. <laughs> okay. It's for people who didn't catch the first time. Well, I like to say 720p because anything less would be uncivilized. Anything more would be too much. Ah, thank you. <laughs> anything else, Leilani? Mm, no, listening. <laughs> <laughs> Staying out of this one. Oh, by the way, you did go to Kauai. So, I did. Uh, how is the island? Is it okay? Oh, is it beautiful? It's so beautiful. I remember when we were growing up there, there was only one stoplight on the whole <laughs> island, and it was in a sugarcane field. Was no, yeah. no, even Kauai, we had that. We were talking about that this weekend. One stoplight. However, there's many more stoplights and much more traffic. So you're no. talking about uh, in Koloa? No. No. On the island of Kauai. On the whole island? The whole island. One stoplight. Oh, wow, that was a one, long time ago. In 1969, yeah. there was one stoplight in the sugarcane field, and it was so funny because we were reminiscing about what it used to look like. Um, however, it Was it not like your basic, you know, red, yellow, green stoplight? No, well, no, it was. It was but the flashing so that it would. So that's not even a stoplight. <laughs> but it was a stoplight for yeah, us. It, yeah. Anyway. Well, in a yellow, you're supposed to slow it's down. It's a yield light. Use caution. Yeah, it caution was light. for the, the trucks across. coming through to okay. let the, the trucks know that each other was approaching. And but then you what know, happens? We land on the moon and then. <laughs> I know everything takes off. Every, but Hawaii and was okay. beautiful. However, yeah. going over to Haena Ke'e area. And they were expecting rain, but you didn't have any rain. We were expecting storms that weekend, and, and uh, fortunately, it was beautiful all, uh -huh. all weekend. And I do mm -hmm. want to put a shout out to Antipuna Corbett, uh, at Corbett, Antipuna Kalama Corbett, mm -hmm. her brother. But uh, she was so gracious with us over the weekend. And yeah. we had other uh, special <laughs> moments. So it's just great to be away from the hustle bustle of oh, yeah. Honolulu. And yeah. special <laughs> moments are always good. Yeah, and uh, and Kauai is yes. a different different kind of island. It's, well, 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 all of the, all of the islands are different. Are different. However, yeah, they're Kauai, so Hawaii Island, Hilo Town, I mean, they went through some uh, stuff, believe it or not. Even though we're not feeling any of the uh, remnants. Okay, if you look outside the, right now, it looks like the sun actual, is to peek through. The tropical storm actually hit Hawaii Island. Yeah. So, so they did get some uh, wind damage and by the ocean, uh, but uh, good results, right? Because yes. everybody so cared, far. right? They, they right. took the warnings. They cared about what was happening. It was so funny, though. They interviewed uh, the surfer guy. Mm -hmm. They interviewed. Uh, uh, are you you going out to? Yeah, because yeah, uh, you know, because the waves look pretty good out there. So I'm uh, gonna <laughs> go out. This is the night before. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna check it out. And you know, it's looking good. And that's the way it is. Yeah. Actually, it would have been nice if he had said, you know, something a little more like. So. Uh, you know why, eh? Because I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a man. Not a wise That's man why I'm going out to the surf. I'm a man. Yeah, surfers are. And then the reporter could have gone, not too smart. Yeah. <laughs> not too smart. But uh, you know, well, I mean, surfers everything live, worked live out for the yes. for the big yes. for the surf. Yeah. yeah, they live for it. Yes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I wish I was yeah. like that. You they know? live for it, and in some cases. They, they die, die for it, it. Yeah. but that's beside the point. But they go with yeah. what they love doing. Okay, yeah. so, so, so uh, uh, <coughs> you know, uh, something very, very uh, unique happened the other day. I got a call from Billy V, mm -hmm. and he says, Kimo, um, I have to share this with you. And I said, what? He says, um, well, I just called Skylark to let her know, and, and I want to let you know that uh, Aloha Deliri has passed away. And I said, what? Yeah. She was 64 years. years old and she passed away. And you know, I first thing I thought was how wonderful that we had them on the yes. Hoku Awards. Mm. How wonderful that we had them dancing. 
We did. We had no idea. Yeah. Nobody that we were gonna lose Aloha Deliri. She was tenacious. She was tough. She was always there, you know. And uh, it was a shock. Yes. But the fact that we had her on the the Nahoku Hanahano Awards, okay, the beauty of her and her daughters dancing, and then Mary Monarch Festival to be able to give that wonderful introduction to Kiliolani Nuya Mamao. Hopi Vahine K Kapuas Kapua Kalania Kea Okay to to give that introduction to Aloha's granddaughter and to have Aloha there and her daughters and to have it so beautifully shared and then not knowing that this would be the last time all of them would be together. Yeah. Uh, it is truly a part of Marymonic history, a part of our, all of our lives, and, and, uh... Well, when she was the Miss Hula, and at that time she was Aloha Wong, and then right. Aloha Wong, yeah. Yeah. She was the first. Aloha. She Ms. was the Hula. first, and, and that's why she, she's the only one that has Miss Hula title, right. because huh. after that it became Miss Aloha, Aloha Hula. Right. And how fitting with the name Aloha <laughs> Deliri. So we, we want to share just something that, uh, is really fitting and beautiful and we want to share this with uh, with all of you for the memory of this great kumuhula Aye. of her daughters of her legacy ke olala olane hala olapa olaka and this reaches around the world with her, the world yeah. with all her satellite hala and yeah, alakai and uh, kumu that she has nurtured okay yeah. so we share this in the spirit uh, for aloha's memory but also for all of her family this is a radio hug yeah that uh, we share this love with each and every one of you um, with our Hawaiian music. So let's get to some very special music for Aloha Deliri. Lei Pikake, beautifully shared, uh, Aloha, adored Robert Casimero. Yes. And uh, she also loved Pikake. I, and, e, and they call her Ilima Beauty. So those two flowers to me are representative of Aloha. And aloha to all of her family yeah, on this beautiful Aloha Kaua, Friday morning. Keola. Yeah, because we're we're going through, as you can see now, it's clearing up. It's a lot better. There's a rainbow here on Oahu. There's a rainbow. Thank you, it's Lord. official. There's a rainbow, rainbow. sighting, gang. We're back to normal. We've okay, had a rainbow well, sighting. Hopefully, okay. Right there. Hopefully, everything will norm up. True. And we still have another uh, Julio coming. Yeah. Julio, he's gonna come sing us some songs in Spanish. Me va, no, me va, no, 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 me va, no. me va, me va. Wrong Julio. Wrong oh, that's Julio. the wrong Julio. Yeah. Well, so what, what, what I did want to mention, yeah, okay, is about Aloha, yeah. and that yeah. is that uh, uh, here she was in the you know the, one of the early people to get to the Mary Monarch mm -hmm. Festival, and then to bring her halau every year. What yeah. people don't realize is it takes a lot to pay for all of the airfare of everybody coming over. Yeah, a lot of fundraising. And taking care of the meals, okay, for everybody, okay. Uh, then be disciplined because you got, you got to come there, you got to get into the, the cultural aspects of it. You're going to be doing uh, perhaps an entry for Mr. Loho Hula, then Kahiko night on Friday, and then Hula Awana on Saturday. Now here's the tough part that people don't realize. Each halal has to come in get their stuff, get ready, go into the dressing room after the other halal, get them all set up, get ready, dress, be prepared, and on the sounds of the introduction, they hit the stage, they do a seven minute performance before not only the state, but the world. Yeah. When they're finished, they have to get back there, they have to pack up all their stuff, and they have to get out of the room because the next halal is gonna be in. coming in. So people don't realize that it's it's different for the halau. It's a great commitment for each halau and each kumuhula to come back year after year after year to be part of the Mary Monarch Festival. And you know, from when she was Miss Aloha to the dedication that she gave to Mary Monarch, mm. to Luana and to Auntie Dadi before her, George Naope, and uh, to to all of the people of Hilo, uh, Aloha gave so much. So we're going to play two songs. One for, you know, the windward side, Kaneohe, mm -hmm. and the other for that Mary Monarch Festival appearance. Uh, 
uh, in the years that she was dedicated and with her halau and with her daughters to be a part of the Mary Monic Festival. I'm Kimo Kahawano. This is Zikai Kahawano. And Leilani Kupahureno. Welcome to Aloha Friday Morning Show on AM 940. AM 940 Hawaii.com. And iHeartRadio app. And a uh, tune in app on uh, AM 940. I'm Kimo Kahawano. This is Ikaika Kahawano. And Leilani Kupahureno. And we're here for you because that's where we should be. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the thing about radio and broadcast. Uh, I got a call from uh, Taryn, uh, who works for the station, and she said, you know, Kimo, uh, we got everything locked down, you know, it might be an emergency type situation, so, um, you know, we, we, we probably won't be running your show, so we, we'll just be taking everything off of Crater, and I said, I said, you know, it's really important for people to be nurtured during this time, and, I, and that means nurture your spirit, nurture your heart, you know, yeah, you want information, but basically everybody's, you know, sitting there at home or enjoying themselves and hopefully enjoying our music and being a part of the showcase. So we got a number one, thank our Moko McClellan and Harvard mm -hmm. Kim at the top for starting this uh, wonderful, you know, organization so many years ago. I am thankful that I'm a part of it. Uh, I thank them especially. But also to the executive team and also to PSET, who is headed by Wendell Jung, and also Mahalani McClellan. We want to always say mahalo to Wendell and Mahalani. Wendell, mahalo for your message this morning. We really appreciate to have the shout out from our listeners. The show must yes. go on. <laughs> yeah, the show we must go on. That. How many times have we been a part of that situation? I'll, I'll tell you, uh, in showbiz, it's a lot more than you think. <laughs> the show must yep. go on. Yes. What are we going to do? We don't have this. Don't have, hey. Show's gotta go on. That's it. <laughs> it's it's just that's the way it is, and 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 life goes on too. So as you nurture and care for uh, those uh, who are around you, uh, uh, nice to hear about people who extend that aloha to other people who are older who cannot move around and stuff like that. Um, uh, especially organizations like Meals on Wheels, mm -hmm. gotta thank mm -hmm. them the for what they do yeah. and help people. Just not only for the food, but for the little talk story and how important that is, because it's all about nurturing. And that's why we're here for you on this Aloha Friday morning. We thank you for being there with us. Uh, earlier, we got to talk to Representative Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, about, Started the show talking to Rep. Yeah, Tulsi Gabbard, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, it was just really nice to share with that. Uh, we also have been recognizing the loss of a great kumuhula, Aloha Deliri. Yeah. And uh, she passed away this week. Now, uh, also, uh, in Washington, area in Virginia, uh, Mahina Bailey's wife passed away. And so they're having services coming up this weekend. So we want to send a, a big aloha out to Washington, D.C., mm -hmm. to all of that area, to the memory of Mahina Bailey's wife and uh, what she shared with people uh, in that whole area of not just Washington, D.C., but it's Virginia, it's Maryland, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's all the surrounding areas, yep. everybody part of that. So. Uh, you can best do that with music uh, that comes from these islands. So, aloha to Manuikaika mm -hmm. and all the team there, uh, to our uh, uh, Kule Stockman, Kule, yeah. who represents this organization very well in Washington, D.C. And uh, to those of you who are listening, wherever you are in the world, thank you for being part of this Aloha Friday Morning radio show. Okay. Well, okay. You know, I want to say though. <laughs> so what? What were you about to say? I was going to say that you know, although you know, supposedly storm, whatever. This is the first time this year that I've worn my sweater. The although, first time. Although supposedly warm the weather. What, what do you think? This I'm is just, a I'm email just saying, that it's you nice can just to wear a sweater. By. It's nice to wear a sweater every now and then. Yeah. You know? Like because storm, you actually need to wear it. Tropical storm is Estelle. Is is Estelle? Estelle. Is Estelle. Is yeah. I S E L L E. I was Estelle. I'm sorry. Estelle. Mm-hmm. Estelle. Estelle's on the bonus roll. Estelle. Who has a name? Estelle. Does anyone have a name? Estelle. Really? It's probably. Is it really a name? Estelle. Why don't Storm has a name? Estelle. I've heard there's. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's it's nice to wear a sweater because it's like cool enough for that. Wait, wait, wait. I got a note from. Although the rain is kind of warm because we kind of got caught in a minute this morning. We're coming to station. I got a. It's a warm rain. Yeah, warm. Due to El Nino. Okay. Yeah. Can we get back on track? Yes, <laughs> okay. So, 
So I got this uh, from Ciro Pahinui. Yeah. And it says, uh, Gabby Pahinui, Wamanalo Kanakapila, postponed due to Isel. Okay. Isel. And uh, this is uh, due to the following governor mandated action. The seventh annual Gabby Pah uh, Pahinui, Wamanalo Kanakapila, is postponed to August 30th. Yes. Okay? Whoa. August 30th. So just take out. a Sharpie and so cross through the date and write in the No date need, date no on need. On the t shirt. No. You will know that the original date was supposed to be <laughs> right. uh, coming up tomorrow, the 9th of so the 9th, August. The 9th. But it's going to be on the 30th, okay? Uh, uh, further information, you can go to gabbypahinui.com. Why don't you go to the gabbypahinui.com? Okay, so. will do. Okay. And men's even Gabby showing Pahinui. it the poster, so you'll okay. have it on the Facebook. Uh, yeah, it's right there. Aloha to you and mahalo to and show. Oh, yeah, that's right, we got the poster. Yes. Right right what there. am I thinking? <laughs> we got the poster. That's okay. okay. <laughs> so it was uh, uh, effective 4 p.m. August 7th. That's when this came out. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. It so says all right there park on the facilities yep. will be closed until further notice. Yeah. Yep. Due yeah. to the governor's proclamation posted below, the 7th annual Gabi Pahinui Waimanalo Kanikapila will be postponed from this Saturday, August 9th to Saturday, August 30th. Yeah. From 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Yep. The Gabi Pahinui Waimanalo Kanikapila is a gathering of Hawaiian musicians who come together to recognize the community of Waimanalo as a center of Hawaiian music, musical preservation, and heritage by celebrating the contributions of uh, Gabby Pops Pahinoe. Yeah, yeah. And you know, reading this, I just flashed on Nikki Hines. Mm. And for those of you who don't know her, she was a yeah. great musician, great lady, uh, oh, great just passed away this year. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, she she wouldn't be there, right, at the, yeah. at the yeah. Waimanalo Festival, and she was there every year. And you know what I remember with Auntie Nikki show? He says, I don't use the word can't. You, there's always a way to do something. You can go around it, over it, under it, or, you know, through it, but you can't, never say you can't. And never say you can't, right? Yeah. Just say, how are how, we yeah. going to do this? How can we do it? Right, or what are we going to do yeah. to get through this yeah. situation, yeah? yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's that what it's all about. Yeah, when I, all when I, you knew Auntie Nikki with yeah. love. When I did the MC gig in May, uh, uh -huh. Billy Kanoya was uh, talking, and that was actually Mayor Billy Kanoya. Yeah, Mayor Kanoya was talking about um, just he, he was doing like a half-hour talk. It's actually one of the most entertaining talks of, to which I've ever been privy. I mean, wow. it was, it's for the it was of entertaining. Commerce. It was intelligent, yeah. educational. Um, wow! It was great. It was great. <laughs> A lot of energy. Oh, Billy uh, yeah. is Combines a great comedy song. with just you know intellect and, yeah. uh, and a good message. Yeah. But that was um, actually one of his messages. Wow, he's you know, a good cool. speaker. Yeah. Yeah. He is. He's a really good yeah, speaker. Amazing. Very engaging. And, yes, and then you know he's on the Hawaii Island and he really cares. I mean, he does seem to take care of the island well. Mm -hmm. yep. We're very fortunate to have good him. Good job. And he was there. He was there all last night. He actually went out to see what was happening on the shoreline yeah. uh, to check it out, and then he came back all soaked into the. But Weather Center in Hilo yeah. and yeah. Uh, gave them a report. Yeah. But we got to get right now to the music because the music complements what we were talking about, which is the Gabi Pahinui Festival. And no song does it better than this song. I'm Kibo Kahawano. This is Ikaika Kahawano. And Leilani Kupahamarino. Happy Aloha Friday. Uh, the great sounds of Cyril Pahinui. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Waimanalo event uh, has been not cancel it's been postponed till august 30th saturday okay so cyril pahinui who you just heard is going to be there with you know hundreds of others uh performing kihuahua hawaii slack key and just paying tribute to that great sound and a great man pops gabby pahinui so aloha to waimanalo we'll see you on august 30th but we already had the t-shirts that said <laughs> august 9th so this is going to be really interesting so we can put a zero, then you put divided by three equals three. That's the way my mind works. <laughs> zero divided by three equals zero. No, I said you add a nine. Yeah. Nine zero. Right? Oh nine, there you zero, go. Okay, there you go. Divided yeah. by three. Now you got thirty. Yeah. Okay, there all right. Go. Thank you. I had to do a little explaining to the boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what it's about. Okay? So no, I, um, I'm sorry. I was. I just. I, I checked out for just a second there because yeah. I was thinking about Gabby uh -huh. when I was living in Maryland, going to school up there, and I'd uh -huh. drive to school down Rockville Pike, which, uh -huh. is, which was the highway, and I'd listen to Hee Love It. Wow. Yeah. And I think we were talking about it with uh, Michael Singwa last week. Uh huh. Singwa. I think that's oh, yeah. how you pronounce his last name. 
Uh, yep, yeah. the owner of a Kahana wine company. Thank you. How he how he commented <laughs> about how when you leave and you move to the mainland, you end up almost becoming if you're from Hawaii, you end up becoming like more Hawaiian, or you feel like a greater tie to uh, Hawaii because yeah. of that. So that was like my story about that because I remember, you know, going up there and listening to Gabby in the car. He just kind of like takes you right back home. Right back home. You know. Ooh, that's cool. Yeah, he lives cool. down the Rockville Pike. Well, glad you're home. So uh, <laughs> great to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's really super, uh, and we really thank you for uh, allowing us to be a part of your morning. And needless to say, there are a lot of people who are talking about different events and this and that, and you can go over it so many times. But the main thing is that you understand that, uh, yes, it's rainy weather, uh, but we are very, very fortunate. This could have been very tragic, but uh, we are very fortunate as to how the storm is moving now. It's off to the west of us. and. Uh, well, kind of south of us, but mm -hmm. it's it's moving yeah, in there, and we're we have some uh, some of the winds, but nothing like they had in Hilo, mm -mm. and uh, and we still have, of course, uh, the other hurricane that's coming up, uh, Julio, Julio, which is uh, going to be you know another one to be careful to be aware of. Well, he's because, supposed to be stronger too. Yeah, and but it can be yeah. what is a man? We can turn. As I told you. Yeah, we can turn. You know. And so you don't know. Well, it's supposed to be like this one was going south of us, and the other one's supposed to be going north. So mm -hmm. we're sandwiched between these two. Hopefully, Ooh, we the sandwich won't. aisles are sandwiched. That's right. <laughs> we live this up to our language. name now. So uh, uh, let's take you back to Hilo, and uh, the reason why we're going to share this with you is because uh, uh, in one of the memories of the Mary Monarch Festival, and uh, we spoke uh, wonderfully about uh, Aloha Deliri, Kumuhula being a part of that dedication. And one of the uh, characters out of that, that style and that very special place that is uniquely Hilo is uh, a guy to be remembered because he passed away. And uh, we're gonna share his song, uh, Purple Raindrops, because he sang it like nobody else. And he was famous for doing the introductions for Johnny Lam Ho. This mele, and he would go on to introduce the mele before Johnny performed. Okay, so we're going to share with you Mr. Oliver Kelly and his music, Purple Raindrops, on this kind of rainy day. I'm Kibo Kahuano. This is Kai Kahuano. And Leilani Kubahumarino. And welcome, along with Minari Engineer, to the Aloha Friday morning show. Again. <laughs> now, you're 39 again? Amazing. She looks great and she's doing well. Yeah, and Mike. sing it. Sing it up a storm. Yeah. yeah. Sing it up a storm. Hello to Florida. Mike. Yeah. Also, oh, by the way, they're in Tahiti. They're in Tahiti. Okay. Doing a show with uh, John Rolls. John Rolls? Yeah. Yeah, that's they right. did a show with John Rolls and did some special stuff Cheer. in Tahiti. Ooh. Oh, we have to say happy birthday. Happy birthday to Skip. Yeah. Skippy. Skippy. So you got to celebrate last week. Yeah, we're going to say aloha to her because she celebrated her birthday last yes. Saturday. Yes. And that was uh, really cool. A lot of people came. Club yeah. 100. Was it 80th birthday? Uh, 80th, yes. Yeah. So aloha to Skip and to all the people who came. All the musicians, yeah. Micah Ava yes. and uh, his group. And then also uh, Rodney Casimero. Sounded mm -hmm. smooth. Mm -hmm. And then you had, uh, before them, you had this uh, beautiful steel guitar with... Uh, with uh, one of the boys from the Makapu Sen band, they they all came and played, and it was just just beautiful. Well, you know, while we're recalling people, I'd like to also acknowledge and to my Lenny Casimero. She's one of the Casimero siblings, the older uh -huh. ones. And while you know being away from home, it's a privilege to have like Eddie Pahinui and to my Lenny Casimero who came and helped hello with music. And you know, without some of our kupuna when we're away from home, you. You can keep things going, but it really enhances and really keeps the flavor of um, our Hawaii, you know, with us. And so I thank them for the music that they continue to inspire within our own halau as well as others in the community. That's right. She and just passed recently. Yeah. Uh, so, you, wow, a lot of people have passed on very yeah, quickly. Big yeah, so, up there. so big hugs you're, you're to everybody. Horse. Yeah, big hugs yes. to everybody, okay? Because you never know. Yeah, you never know. Every moment, every Look breath is I, I sound so terrific right now. Tomorrow <laughs> could be another day. <laughs> we always say, then thank what? you, Lord. <laughs> then I'll be talking like this. Yeah, son, pass me the, you know, give me the paper. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, son, Lord, for the next breath. Read me the paper. Yep. <laughs> son, I cannot hear you. <laughs> So anyway, um, we'd like to share with you a song called Manawala Boy. Ah, 
Yeah, okay. that's a good song. And, and so I get a call from Shaw Thompson, mm -hmm. okay, Mrs. Tihari. Yes. Okay, Shaw and Jack Thompson. So Mrs. Tihari calls me up and goes, Kimo, I need to know uh, Manawala Boy. But it's got this, <clears throat> it's gonna have this verse in it. It's yes. a verse that it's has not this a common one. One. it's not a common one. Okay. So I'm I go at first I, I'm not I, who who is she talking about? So we go back and, and she calls Kimo Alama Keolana. And so Kimo goes, Why why are you calling up those old guys? They get Alzheimer's. <laughs> Just I'll tell you, you know, who did what. Bon bon me tells it, right? So then uh, I find it clicks in my mind, it's Apo and Beasley. Okay, Del Beasley and Peter Apo recorded this Manawala boy that she was looking for, this version yes. of the song. Yes. So we're going to play it for you right now. Cool. This goes out to Shaw Thompson, okay? Yes. Shaw, this goes out to you, <laughs> okay? I hope you're listening. If you're not, we don't care. <laughs> it's the song anyway <laughs> on Aloha Friday. You know everything's all right with the sound of the Makaha Suns on Aloha Friday Morning Show. I'm Kimo Kahawano. This is Kai Kahawano. And Leilani Kupahamarino. And along with Min, our fearless engineer, we are here for you. And this is a, a very tenuous time, very, very uh, stressful for some people. Uh, but fortunately, uh, the storm is supposed to be right here uh, at Oahu, but it's uh, south. Mm -hmm. So well, we're, we're supposedly okay. Yeah, this looks pretty good from here. We're in okay. downtown looking out. But there is Julio the coming. Side. There is Julio yep. coming. Okay. Right. And it should reach by, I guess, Sunday? Ish. Yeah. Sunday ish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Saturday should reach Big Island. Mm -hmm. And then Sunday. And then Monday should be all pow. We'll yeah? see. We'll see. Yeah, probably. Probably be all pow. But all of this is due to the double storm action uh -huh. activity, uh -huh. is due to El Nino. Oh, the El Nino? Right, right. And well, I always wanted to know what El Nino was because I remember I was speaking with you last night. You brought say it, it again. El Nino. <laughs> so, okay. so like, you know. Did you hear that? Okay, so El Nino. Right. The nephew. Is that what it means? Yeah. Spanish for the Nino. Yeah, El Nino. <laughs> Well, it's in yeah. Spanish, right? The nephew. I'm yeah. El Nina would be the niece. La, la Nina. La, la ah. Nina. La. Is the niece. La El La. Right. Well, what it is, is it's associated with a band of warm ocean water temperatures that periodically develops off the Pacific coast of South America. Right. And because of that, it makes it more susceptible for us getting a... Uh, a hurricane. Right. So it's it's it says uh, the the thing was like why are there two storms like one after the other, right? Uh -huh. Well, uh -huh. two big storms so close together in the eastern Pacific, which is where we are, are rare but not unexpected in years with a developing El Nino, a ch which is a change in temperature that affects weather around the world. And I I've I don't know if you've uh, I mean, you didn't really get caught in the rain this morning, but Min and I when we were running running through the rain actually we kind of got you know, the little cloud burst on us. Yeah. Uh -huh. And the water was warm. It's like warm rain. How's that? Yeah. Very El Nino. -ish. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's definitely. Yeah, it's warm rain. Okay, we just got a, a little message from Pastor Ron Yoshida. I want to say aloha to him. Uh, hey, Pastor Ron. He's saying, uh, you know, uh, everybody else staying home, <laughs> sleeping, and watching the news. And uh, of course, <laughs> at the AM 940, it says, pray. Uh, we keep praying for Akua for protection yep. and to help those, especially on the Big Island, who have already been affected. Uh, mahalo. Mahalo. Pastor, we thank you very much for your aloha. Mm -hmm. And that goes to everybody. You know, we got people yes. on Maui, we got people in Vegas, we got people in uh, the Makani girls. Yeah, yeah. They Makani came and went. We never saw them. Just like, with the wind. Blew gone, with blew the, out. gone with the Nino. <laughs> That's what happens when you're busy. When you're busy, the Nino you get took a lot of right action, a lot of stuff happening. So we're very, very fortunate I to want, have this beautiful, uh, you, know, you know, time. Well, yeah, you know, you know, but you know now how, how they do the do the weather, right? And like, we heard about these the hurricanes, tropical storms, what four or five days ago. Do you remember when Hurricane Eva hit in 1982? Like, were they talking about it like days before? Well, we didn't have the uh, kind of warning system that we have now, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it wasn't right. set up this way. Because it's just so, kind of like, oh, guys, it's here. Yeah, yeah. Get ready. And, you know? uh, and so we're very, very fortunate today to have the, the warning systems that we have and technology. And then the quick reaction of those who, you know, really have a tremendous responsibility. You know, right. police, uh, medical, you know, uh, well, this, fire, this is how it used fire to look. protection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So 
Yeah. Whereas now it's got like different colors for like the different parts of the eye and the yeah. storm and everything. Before it was just like boom, there's a storm, just, yeah, just one and, color. And it was, uh, you know, it was a different time, a different kind of uh, being able to track right, a so storm or a hurricane. What did we get back and, then? And like now you got well, now you got you know you got the planes that go in, yeah, okay, they fly right into the, the eye. Yeah, and you have uh, so many other things that we're very fortunate to have, and for for like for tidal waves, you know. Having, oh yeah, having buoys very very important people think that they're not important they certainly are um, so yeah i guess we're lucky in this day of you know we're very lucky more i want to give a shout out to danielle tucker who's working yeah she's right there right there she's doing traffic and uh and a backup now. i see the back of her head <laughs> yeah, but uh you know she's there for everybody and and helping everyone all the time and you hear this very famous voice very special voice danielle tucker so That's we're right. going to send out our shout outs to her and we thank you for uh, tuning into uh, this Aloha Friday morning show. You know who I miss, Dad? Who? I miss Captain Irwin. Captain Irwin Malsman. Yep. Yep. Uh, Redford High grad. How's that? He's Redford High. Yeah. Oh wow. And because uh, I worked with him, That's the you know, at KSSK. Uh, yeah, I know. I remember. During yeah. the good old days. Yeah. yeah. No one does that anymore. They don't yeah. fly in a helicopter and give you like the bird's eye view of the yeah, track. Yeah, he was he was very and unique and, and very on it, very awesome. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but so, th th I remember Tucker used to work with Captain Irwin, so I think, I, if I can recall. Well, Daniel Tucker uh, worked in several stations, mm -hmm. just like I did, mm -hmm. and uh, one time we even worked together Yeah, yeah, yeah. on AM9, uh, no, excuse me, KKUA, mm -hmm. during the time of Hurricane Eva, mm -hmm. she was there. And when Captain Irwin And here, was here we are, 2014, and we're both still here. And you're in adjacent studios. Boy, do I feel... <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it time to say goodbye? Is it? Almost. Now it's time it could to be. say goodbye. No? Yeah. Not yet? I think uh, so. We are two yeah. minutes before. 7.59 on my dial. Yeah. 7.58 on mine. So, you know, the, the best thing we can do for you since you're home and doing stuff or in your cars and uh, if, I don't know why you're in the car. I'm not supposed to be traveling today. But uh, if you are, let's sing the Aloha Friday song for you. I don't know why I have a froggy in my throat, but I do. <laughs> well, because it's raining. They, they tend Maybe to come out it. in the rain. Okay. It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. Come on, everybody, jump in. The crew sucking up the brew pool there, who meet smoking on the side. All the surfers are dropping while the high school kids are popping down Kalaka for a ride. It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. A dooby 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 It's Aloha Friday, no work till Monday. A dooby 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 where I sit all cloudy and bliss with my prima bottles lying everywhere. Got a guitar in my hand and a whistling oil can under my ukulele for a chair. It's a low up Friday, no work till Monday. A dooby 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 did dilly do. It's a low up Friday, no work till Monday. A dooby doo. A dooby 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 Well, we only work one day a week, folks. So this is our time to share it with you on behalf of Peace Ed and his Peloton companies, a great organization of people working very hard to help the economy, to make a living, to honor friends and classmates, and to be a part of this wonderful place called Hawaii, and at the same time, service the world. Mahalo from Kimo Kahawano. Ikai Kahawano. And Leilani Kupahamuina. And our engineer, Min. Happy Aloha Friday. Aloha. Aww. Aww, another show.